Hello and welcome to Easy Olympiad Maths. This is an STSC solved paper for grade 5. For more such videos, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications for new uploads. What is the volume of the smallest number of cubes that must be added to make the given figure a cuboid? Now, we want to calculate the volume of the smallest number of cubes that must be added to make the given figure a cuboid. So, first we calculate how many cubes required to make this figure cuboid. So, number of cubes required in lowest layer is 2. Number of cubes required in middle layer is 4. And number of cubes required in top layer is 6. 7. Now, total number of cubes required to form the cuboid is 2 plus 4 plus 7, which is equals to 13. Now, volume of 1 cube is length into width into height, that is, which is given 2 cm, 2 cm, 2 cm, which is equals to 8 cm cube. So, volume of 1 cube is 8 centimeter cube. So, volume of 13 cubes is 13 into 8 equals to 104 centimeter cube. So, A is the correct option. The time shown on the given clock face is 4 o'clock. Through how many degrees will the hour hand move in 10 hours? So, we have to find by how many degrees will the hour hand move in 10 hours. Now, complete angle that a clock makes from 12 to 12 is 360 degree. We know that complete angle is 360 degree. So, complete angle that a clock makes is 360 degree. Now, angle formed between each hour or 1 hour is 360 degree divided by 12. Since there are 12 parts in the clock, so full angle will be divided by 12 is equals to 30 degree. Now, angle between each hour is 30 degree. Now, degrees by which hour hand moves in 10 hours is 30 degree into 10 is 300 degree. Study the decimal number line given. What is the value of P plus Q minus R? Now, in order to find the value of P plus Q minus R, we have to first find the values of P, Q and R. Now, see the number line carefully. Now, difference between 6.37 and 6.5. Now, we can write 6.5 as 6.50. So, difference between 6.37 and 6.50 is equals to 6.50 minus 6.37, which is equals to 0 0.13. So, distance between two points is 0 0.13. So, now P will be 6.50 plus 0 0.13 since distance between two points is 0.13 so p will be 6.63 now q will be p plus 0 0.13 which is equals to 6.63 plus 0 0.13 which is equals to 6.76 now r will be q plus 0 0.13 now q is 6.76 plus 0 0.13 which is equals to 6.89 now we have calculated p q r now we substitute these values in the equation p plus q minus r then we get 6.63 plus 6.76 minus 6.89 now we'll do addition first we will get 13.39 minus 6.89 which is equals to 6.50 so correct option is c some roman numerals are given in the box which of the following is the number that can be written using all the given Roman numerals? Now you have to identify from option A, B, C, D which number has written using all these Roman numerals given in the box. Now let's solve the numbers one by one. So A is 1775. Now write, write its expansion form. So 1000 plus 700 plus 70 plus 5. Now 1000 is M. 700 is D C C. Now D is 500, C is 100, C is 100. So total D C C is 700. Now 70 L X X is 70. 
L is 50, X is 10. So, L X X is 70 and V is 5. So, this is the Roman numeral form of 1775. Now, 864 is 800 plus 60 plus 4. Now, Roman numeral form of 800 is D, C, C, C. D is 500 and C is 100. So, D, C, C, C. Now, 60 L, X. L, X is 50 plus 10, 60. Now, 4 is I, V. So, this is the Roman numeral form. 1947 is 1000 plus 900 plus 40 plus 7. Now, 1000 is M. 900 is C, M. 1000 minus 100. And 40 is L, X. Sorry, X, L. And 7 is V, I, I. Now, 1753. 1000 plus 700 plus 50 plus 3. So, 1000 is M and 700 is D, C, C. 50 is L and 3 is I, I, I. So, option, which option has all these Roman numeral forms is M, D, C, C, L, I, I, I is option D. Which of the following is the product of 1 is to 1 by 3, 3 is to 1 by 4 and 7 by 8. Now, first we will solve the mixed fraction. 1 is to 1 by 3 is equals to 3 into 1 plus 1 by 3 is equals to 4 by 3. Now, solve 3 is to 1 by 4, we get 13 by 4 and third number is 7 by 8. Now, product will be 4 by 3 into 13 by 4 into 7 by 8. Now, 4 in the numerator and 4 in the denominator will be cancelled out. We get 13 by 3 into 7 by 8, which is equals to 91 by 24. Now, solving it, we get 3 is to 19 by 24. So, correct option is B. P is the least common multiple of 45 and 50. What is the value of 10P plus 100? Now, P is the least common multiple that is LCM of 45 and 50. Now, LCM of 45 and 50 is 450. You can see how I calculate LCM of 45 and 50 on the right side. Now, P here is 450. Now, we will substitute, substitute the value of P in 10P plus 100. We get 10 into 450 plus 100 which is equals to 4500 plus 100 which is equals to 4600. So, correct option is B. Which of the following is the smallest possible decimal number of three decimal places? Now, we have to find the smallest possible decimal number of three decimal places. So, here the option C is correct. 0 0.001 is the smallest possible decimal number. Question 8. Identify the equivalent of 10 crores from the following. Now see the chart, Indian place value chart and international place value chart. Now 1 lakh is 100,000. 10 lakh is 1 million. 1 crore is 10 million and 10 crore is 100 million. So 10 crore will be 100 millions. Correct option is B. Identify the figure with only one pair of parallel lines. Now, from option A, B, C, D, it is clear that A, B and D have two pair of parallel lines and option C, which is a trapezium, has only one pair of parallel lines. So, correct option is C. 27th February 2013 was a Wednesday. What day was 27th March the same year? Now, 2013 was not a leap year. So, February has 28 days in that year. So, from 20, total number of days from 27th February to 27th March is 28 days. Now, there are 7 days in a week. 
so we will divide 28 by 7 divide by 7 equals to 4 weeks now after 4 complete weeks again it will be a Wednesday on 27th March which of the following sets of numbers have the same HCF now some set of numbers is given in form of PQRS you have to choose which set of numbers have the same HCF now we will take out the HCF of P in an easy way C now P has the number 60 650 to 50 all ends with 0 so we know that the number that end with 0 is divisible by 10 now we will divide it by 10 we get 6 65 and 25 now there is no common factor between these numbers so HCF here will be 10 now for Q the numbers are 230 and 450 again the numbers are ending with 0 so they are divisible by 10 then after dividing by 10 we get 23 and 45 now there is no common factor between these numbers so HCF here is 10 now R 120 180 240 all are ending with 0 so we will divide by 10 then we get 12 18 24 again these are divisible by 6 now divide by 6 we get 2 3 4 so HCF here will be 10 into 6 60 now for S all numbers are ending with 5 135 315 495 all ending with 5 so it is divisible by 5 so after dividing by 5 we get 27 63 99 now these three numbers are divisible by 9 so we will divide by 9 we get 3 7 11 now there is no common factor so SCF will be 9 into 5 45 now the SCF of P and Q is equal so correct option is D we know had one and half bags of chocolates the full bag had 32 packets of chocolates in it with 10 chocolates in each packet which expression gives the total number of chocolates Vinod had now full bag has 32 packets of chocolates and there are 10 chocolates in each packet now one packet has 10 chocolates so 32 packets has 32 into 10 chocolates now one bag has 32 into 10 chocolates then one and half bag has one and half into 32 into 10 chocolates so our correct option will be C study the Hindu Arabic equivalents of the given Roman numbers now some Roman numbers have given and their Hindu Arabic equivalents is also given now you have to choose which of the following is our correct now first is D C L V so D is 500 C is 100 L is 50 and V is 5 so 500 plus 100 plus 50 plus 5 is 655 which is correct now second is X L V I now X L is 50 minus 10 and V I is 5 plus 1 so 50 minus 10 is 40 plus 5 plus 1 is 6 so 46 is correct third is m d c l now m is 1000 d is 500 c is 100 l is 50 so 1000 plus 500 plus 100 plus 50 is 1650 which is incorrect so correct option is 1 and 2 so correct option is a mala and bala got 75 marks and 25 marks respectively in an examination Find the ratio of the marks scored by Mala to their total marks. Now you have to find the ratio of the marks scored by Mala to their total marks. Now marks scored by Mala is 75 marks. Marks scored by Bala is equals to 25 marks. And total marks equals to 75 plus 25 equals to 100 marks. Now ratio of marks scored by mala to their total marks is 75 is to 100 which is equals to 3 is to 4 correct option is d leela made 17 sandwiches for her friends if leela had made four more sandwiches she would have made exactly thrice as many sandwiches as meena 
how many sandwiches did meena make now number of sandwiches leela made is 17 if she made four more sandwiches that is 17 plus 4 equals to 21 then leela sandwich will be equal to thrice of meena sandwich that is 3 into meena's sandwich now leela sandwich has 21 then 21 is equals to 3 into meena's sandwich now meena's sandwich will be 21 divided by 3 equals to 7 thanks for watching write in the comments what type of video you want to see